Well, stunning new details revealed today by prosecutors in the Gilgo Beach murders case. That's right. Suspect Rex Heuerman now facing two additional murder charges, bringing the total number of women Rex Heuerman is accused of murdering to six. Prosecutors say they were able to link Heuerman to the deaths of these women through hairs found on or near both victims. They also found documents he allegedly used to meticulously plan the killings. Obviously, a lot to unpack here. Stephanie Bertini live in studio to break down all the day's latest developments. Steph. Yeah, Steve, Bianca, Rex Heuerman maintaining his innocence tonight from behind bars as some disturbing evidence came out in court today. Alleged Gilgo Beach serial killer Rex Heerman back in court today, charged with killing two more women, Jessica Taylor and Sandra Costilla, bringing the total number of murders he's charged with to six. Meticulously planned and executed um, six uh, separate murders. In court today, new evidence revealed, including an electronic document with much detail. The task force believes that this is a planning document, and it was utilized by Uriman to methodically blueprint and plan out his kills. Investigators say the document, a Word file, was discovered during an analysis of a hard drive found in Uriman's Massapequa Park home. The document discovered in an area of the device where deleted or overwritten files can still live. Court documents say the original file was created in the year 2000. The document begins with a four-category section. The headings include problems under it, DNA, tire marks, and blood stains. Investigators believe that to be a guide on issues to avoid apprehension. Investigators believe supplies to be a reference to what supplies are needed to carry out the serial murders. Under that header, things like booties, police scanner, and medical gloves. I think we have just uh, hit the tip of the iceberg. Forensic psychiatrist Carol Lieberman weighing in. On the one hand, I'm not surprised that he had such detailed plans, uh, things that he had learned from his past killings and things that he should do better and will do better in the future and so on, because he's an architect and architect makes make plans and, um, and they're obsessive. And um, so this actually fits. But what I am surprised is that um, he didn't know better that whatever he did, deleting it or whatever, that that didn't take it off completely. Investigators say Heurman had a significant collection of torture pornography dating back to the 90s. Some of Jessica Taylor's family members were in court today to see justice done. This year has been 21 years since she was taken from us, longer than the chance that she got to be alive. I can't express what this day means after waiting and hoping for answers. Heerman's attorney says his client maintains his innocence. He's indicated he is not guilty of these charges uh, and he wants his day in court. Heerman is due back in court on July 30th.